Make your whole family mourners When we're done with you, they're gonna have to pick your ass up at the corners Me and my crew will hit you with that right left Leave you too this yeah, cause we're ruthless, yeah, that's some true shit You don't wanna mess with cheddar and it's gonna be like you can't in the ambulance, yeah Who says leave the clothes, buddy, and damn, then we're swooping up your trance Five away, where I'm from Five away, where I'm from Five away, where I'm from See, I'm repping that medicine place media. My pretty should be all like the way I flow, like an encyclopedia. But black cats are on me like bad bacteria. Don't make a drink to form a dusty free lush cafeteria. Central mass is where I reside. Where you can't run and hide, I can verify. That was safe, why I leave you horrified? Cause you're unqualified. I'm just glad I survived. Time for me to put it in the overdrive. Leaving these cats petrified. Hitting you with the right hook right in your hard drive. Taking these chumps, taking those dots, taking their girl in the whip on a dish drive. You know she loves better sex drive. Five away, where I'm from. Five away, is where I'm from. Five away, is where I'm from. See, I'm from the five away. All the girls wanna take cheddar on a date. Make a them trick the hot cakes and drop it down like an earthquake. I hope she don't give me no hot break. I'll be a lot to say. See, I'm from. Ah, we live, we live, we live. All right, what's up, Turtle Riders? How are we all doing out there tonight? Let me go ahead and adjust my microphone here. Actually, let me see. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are crisp there. There we go. Excellent. Try crispy. All right, Turtle Riders. Welcome to the program here. Uh, this is Uncle Kurt. Yeah, uh, we got a great show ahead of tonight. I'm going to go ahead right now. I've shared the link to this stream on the Clarence Woods Emerson page as well as my Twitter account. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I'm back on now. I don't even know what my handle is. What's my handle? My handle is. Uh, uh, fuck I know. I don't know. I follow it. Oh, Turtle Boy Tweets. No, it's at TB underscore Aiden. That's oh, Turtle Boy Tweets is uh, the main account. That's not me. That's a fan run account. That's a oh. good account. You should follow that one too if you're on Twitter. But at TB underscore Aiden, get on me there. I've, I've shared it on there. Uh, also on Facebook, follow me uh, on the Turtle Boy Sports page was eliminated last time since the last time we spoke. So that's gone. That's just part of the job at this point. But uh, the Uncle Turtle Boy page is the new one. So make sure you're following and liking Uncle Turtle Boy on Facebook as well as the Clarence Woods Emerson page. How's the audience looking right now? How many we got in there? Okay, uh, we're up to a hundo three. That's a good start. So with us tonight is our buddy Brett Killerin. How you doing, Brett? Good, good. High as fucking giraffe pussy. And I just got a wife just brought me a fresh oh, iced shocking. coffee from Duncan's. All right, oh. so. We're doing the blue screen tonight. I couldn't do green because uh, this turtle thing just eliminates, you know, it, with the green screen. So I'm doing blue screen tonight. It's working out. It's a little. Not, it's not as good as the green, but we'll make it happen. Yeah, and it's a learning process. You know, it's a learning process. We'll figure it out over time. All right. So make sure you smash that like button, people. Let people know uh, we're here. We're live. We got a great thing out of us. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it, guys, to 90 minutes tonight. I'm gonna try to experiment with that because we always go overboard. I got some shit to do, but. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share right now the fundraiser. If you guys would like, this episode is brought to you by Turtle Riders. So uh, if you guys would like to um, donate, I got a freestyle planned. It's a good one. Brett heard it beforehand. Is it good, Brett? Yeah, it's a good one. I like the beat one? on this one, too. You're getting better with picking the beats, man. Some old yeah. school shit and stuff. It's, it's 50 Cent, okay? He's got the best beats. 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. I'm old school like that. I like this new school shit. Uh, I'm 38. I don't have time for Drake or any of that stuff. Uh, I'm into the cl the classics. You know what I mean? The real gangster shit. That's how I was brought up, Brett. Word. You Word. like Public Enemy? Like old Public Enemy? When Chuck D was racist as fuck? Like back then. <laughs> That's really. I still love that shit. Old NWA, all that shit. I, you know, I love that stuff too, but I'm a little bit earlier than my time. A little bit earlier. 
Yeah, it's still good shit, though. It is good shit, though, yeah. Okay, so uh, we got a good show. We're going to be calling some people up tonight. Uh, we got a lot of phone calls to make. Hopefully, hopefully these people answer. What the uh, fuck is that? That ain't. Um, Uh-oh, we got a situation here. Hold on. Do you have a, do you have a phone? Hopefully, this gets fixed. <laughs> is that your house phone? Hold on. Time out. I got a situation. Yeah, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, problem solved. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell start to the show. This is awesome. All right. <laughs> Uh, where the fuck are you listening from? I'll go. I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah, I'm doing this remotely in case you guys don't. It? I'm doing a remote show tonight, so this is not the turtle layer. This is not the turtle layer. But any anyway, we're alive. We're good. I'm ready to go. Uh, it, whatever the problem was there, it's fixed. I don't have to evacuate. Talked about the freestyle and that shit's fire and set off some shit. So donate the money and we'll get. <laughs> yeah. We ready. <laughs> so yeah, if we can. Uh, bottom line is, if you raise a, if we can raise 150. Uh -oh. In the donos, and if you donate and you leave a funny message, you can leave whatever message you want. You're going to give a shout out to your dog, your little homie CeeLo, you know, your girl, your baby mama, your side bitch, anybody you want in there that wants a shout out. I'm gonna give a shout out to them. So make sure, sure. you are uh, if you if you donate and you you know you leave a comment or whatever. Also, you'll notice to my this little box right here, we've come up with an idea for this box. What we're gonna do here. Uh, we are, this box is for sale, right? If you want to ever give, buy your, like, if, you're, if your wife is a turtle rider, right? She doesn't want bullshit from you. All she wants is turtle boy. Like, that means more to her than anything. So you can write whatever you want here to your wife, your, your fiance, your lover, whoever you want to put up here, uh, your dog. I don't care. Uh, we're going we're gonna to start selling that. That's going to be a new thing. You know, so we, I'm going to sell the shit out of this, believe me. But awesome. anyway, right. first we're going to figure out the technology. Okie dokie. So how we like to start off every show, guys, with a little thing called Where You Reppin'. So let us know in the comments right now, where are you watching Turtle Boy Live from tonight? Go. They already did it, man. They when did. I said it, they did it. Yeah, scroll back. Oh, fucking have... Christ. I'm okay. telling you. Um, let's see. They can do it again, I reckon. Yeah, do it again. If you did it again, I'm not going back and reading all where this. Where you reppin'? Where you reppin'? Orlando, Charlton, Iowa, New Braintree, Crotchdale, Tucson, uh, East Bridgewater, Auburn, Amesbury, Maine, Tuxbury, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, Walpole, Boulder City, Auburn, um, let's see, Lowell, Drakett, Salem, Westford, Los Angeles, London, Westminster, uh, West Haddonick, Virginia Beach, Woonsocket, Nashua, let's see, Salem's in the house, Medford's in the house, Medford, uh, Long Island's in the house, Fall River, Worcester, Massachusetts, New York, New York, uh, Southbridge, Massachusetts is in there. I'm back up um, in Mama Love Hugger Aiden. Okay, excellent. Waltham's in the house. Wittensville, oh. Conway, New Hampshire. Weymouth, Portsmouth, Ohio. Excellent. No, there was a Portsmouth, Ohio. Arlington, Hyde Park, Westminster, Manchester, New Hampshire, Bridgewater, Foxborough, Fort Mill. Where the fuck is Fort Mill? Interesting. Methuen, interesting. Uh, Rentham, Lowell, you name it. Okay, Raymond, New Hampshire. Um, Derry, New Hampshire. Like, All right, so we're good. We got a lot of people here. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I still love you. Okie dokie, Brett. You got uh, anything to say? No, just 150 people is what I said. Not too shabby. We're getting up there. So it'll right. grow. That's what she said. Let's get this party started. All right, first up. First topic up for discussion here. And we got, let's see. Uh, I want to start with uh, the story out of Providence, Brett, the bride shamer. We got to talk about this one. Because we can make a phone call here, too. Yeah, go ahead. Fucking post a child for a hairy pussy in 2020. Oh, this chick? This bitch. Yeah. Yeah, she, yes, she is. There's no doubt about that. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, there was a story I got sent the other day, and it involved a... Actually, this is the wrong one. This is the one I want. So This is kind of part two I have there. Okay. So it involved a, um, there was a bride group. Some of you may be in like Facebook bride groups. People go on there. They share their stories, you know, about their weddings, whatever. It's a shitty time to get married, Brett, obviously, because of freaking comic cold, hey, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would think. I mean, if I was getting married around this time, I, I had friends that were supposed to get married. They just postponed, right? I mean, that's, yeah. unless you want to go ghetto style and have like 25 people, like it's fucking stupid, you know? So this chick, uh, it's hard enough for brides during this time. In comes this chick. Her name is Olivia with an A. And as you can see, she's an aspiring goth metal. What would you say about her, Brett? She doesn't shave? 
<laughs> Guaranteed, she's the poster child for that. Still has the wild bush, the bushman of the Kalahari down there. Yeah. And not just hairy on the bug, but like the inside of the legs, all of it. Just wild lands. Guaranteed. Calipari. Yeah. Bushman of the Kalahari. <laughs> Oh God! So uh, there she blows right there, and uh, she has many different looks. She goes the Gaga look right there, as you can see, and you know they're her friends. I mean, does there these look like Trump supporters to you, right, Brett? Uh, I, nah, I don't know, man. Those look like a trailer park girls, like a new no, sitcom on the joke. WB. It's a joke. You high? They're uh, not Trump supporters. Yeah, fucking cooked as fuck. Those people Why hate Trump. I don't even need to know it. I know your political affiliation just by looking at you in 2020. Those chicks right there hate Donald Trump. I don't know anything else about them, but they don't like Donald Trump. Anyway, this nice lady named Stephanie McKinney posts in a in this wedding group that she had. They had their wedding on October 4th. We didn't care about the virus. We wanted our day. The guests that wanted to be there came. I'm glad we didn't cancel our wedding. We're even more excited that 73 people came to join us. My advice to all future brides, don't let anyone take your day away. The ones that want to attend, regardless of the world we're dealing with today, will be there. Nice, optimistic message. No, Brett? Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, sure. but you know what? They hate optimism. Like, there's nothing the Corona bros and the Karens hate more than optimism. We saw it with Trump. Trump gets COVID, right? He yeah. beats it in like three days. He's out of the hospital. And the first thing he does is he goes on Twitter and he's like, it's not so bad. You can live your life with COVID. Like it, it well, have we have cures now, motherfuckers. Stay but that, then he went a little bit overboard. He started <laughs> yeah, like, he always does though. But initially what really pissed people <laughs> off and he, he's like, you don't have to let it control you. You don't have to let it dominate your life. And people got so mad about that. They're like, no, you must be scared. You must be scared at all times. If, the second you're no longer scared, we cannot control you anymore. The second you're not in fear, we can't tell you that you can't leave your house. It's just a big scam. It has been since day one. That's all this is about is control. And this woman, when she says, don't be scared, you know this is going to piss some people off, right, Brett? Like, just looking at this oh, post. Only, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, that would infuriate anyone. Oh, not anyone. Everyone? Would it infuriate you? Huh. No. I think it's cute, and I agree 100% with the people that wanted to came, came, yep. like, and I'm sure there was a talk between every one of them. Now, listen, we get it if you don't want to, yep. COVID, blah, 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 but they went and had a nice thing outdoors. Yeah. The only people that get mad about stuff like that are these Bushmen of the Kalahari, son. These Bushmen of the Kalahari. These hairy, pussy, unwashed bitches. <laughs> it's so Wait, true. You get so to her true. pictures, and everyone will know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. We're, we're going to get to those pictures yeah. momentarily. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like, by the way, did you watch college football today at all, Brett? I watched some of the Virginia Tech, uh, what the fuck game? Did you happen to see Texas A&M against Florida? Nope. It was fucking awesome. Not because of the game. The game was a great game. They won 41-38 to the last second on a field goal. But the oh, crowd, wow. Brett, yeah. was at least, the stadium was at least 75% full. It was fucking awesome in, in College Station, Texas. Uh, it, it was loud. The fucking bands were there. The bells were there. And the show in the crowd. And some people wore masks, but a lot of people weren't. And it was fucking awesome. And the first thing the Florida coach said when he left, it was basically like, that was a huge advantage to have a crowd there. And he's Absolutely. immediately going home and he's telling his athletic director, we want to open up 100%. And this is a... Thank fucking God for the South. What would this country be without the fucking South? They've got a bad reputation. They've got some bad history, but they are carrying this fucking country right now. They're the only Florida country. literally waited it out. Like everyone was mad at Florida for allowing this, that, and the other, and the kids going home and killing their grandparents and stuff. Yeah. But they waited it out, and now they're like the champion of the fucking yeah. country. They really fucking are. And they, it's and a they good play it. by them. It, and they're like, we're having the Super Bowl in Florida and in, we'll Texas, everything. in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee. These states are wide the fuck open and it's just working out spectacular. Thank fucking God for the South. But anyway, I digress. We're up here in the not fun states, unfortunately. <laughs> we Isn't that kind of ironic? The free states are now in the South and the slave yeah. states are in the North. Yeah. Well, they got other fucking problems, though. So. They do have other problems, you know, mainly healthcare and education, but that's a different story. Even the water wants them dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> Even the water. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. 
Yeah, they get a lot of natural. <laughs> all right, so um, mm. here she is. So she posts this, and Olivia and um, Olivia, whatever, Kent posts this in the group, right? And she goes, We posted this for a wedding planning group, a man. This is why we're fucked until late 2021. So she shames this woman, posts her thing on there. It's like, This is why we're fucked. And this poor woman, Stephanie McKinney, who seems like a sweetheart, seems like a really nice person, comes on there and just this post made me like fucking upset, Brett. Like I'm reading this post. I'm like, this is just fucking sad. She goes, hi, everyone. I deleted my post about like the greatest day of her life. I deleted my post since someone on here wanted to start drama and be negative. One person complained about my photos and then someone blasted my post on her personal page. All I wanted to do was show my special day to you all. We still followed all the COVID rules, but clearly no one wants to see that. Have a good day, everyone. I no longer need to be on this page. Is that the most depressing thing you've ever fucking it's read? It's terrible because this is just a broad who wanted to show yeah. out a little. Like all yeah. proud and happy as fuck. And this fucking Bushman of the Kalahari's got to come Bushman take a Kalahari. fucking dump on it. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> you're killing me with that one. I bet you she's a front wiper. Like she wiped <laughs> the asshole right over the fucking the Badlands. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet. So anyway, uh, it, it's just stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, she comes on in now. You see a post like this, and you're like, "That's sad." Like if, if you if you're the person that shamed her, a normal person would come on and be like, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like you know hurt you or anything like that. I'm just worried about COVID, whatever." You know, like that's what a decent human being would do. But these people are not decent. They're fucking evil. No, They're evil. Doubles down. And she comes on. She says this. Ugh. I posted it on Reddit too. Oh, uh, I posted it on Reddit too. Uh, if you want to boast about your super unsafe wedding, maybe wait until the incubation period is over before you brag. Also, you posted publicly. BuzzFeed can straight up steal your photos and story as soon as you hit submit. I fully credited you at least. What a fucking cunt, huh? Cunt, That's cunt, cunt. He's special. Yeah. Like this is what she posted on her her name on Reddit, by the way, is this is the most appropriate name I've ever heard. Gloomy Kumquat. That's yeah, that's yeah, fitting. gloomy gloomy kumquat. She says, um Oof. says, oh. I've been on this dumb wedding planning group for a year now. And sorry to break it to you, but this behavior isn't exclusive to women. There have been plenty of groomzillas throwing tantrums about COVID restrictions as well. Okay, so whatever. This chick is a corona bro, she's yeah. annoying. Like there she is right there. Oh, oh, good lord! God save the queen. God, she's the wheeze. Oh, so that looks, uh, like, that looks like the end of a long camping trip. That's what the fuck <laughs> it looks like right there. The end of a long fucking rough camping trip. <laughs> oh, the end of a long camping trip. What do you come up with this? Ooh, like three weeks in the woods. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, here's the funniest part about this. Is that literally two weeks before she posed this two week two weeks before she shamed a woman for getting married without a mask on? She goes, so Jason and I did a thing. Look at these pictures. I'm so happy how they turned out and how amazing this photographer was. I seriously can't gush about pretty nerdy photography enough. Becky is literally a god behind the camera. Patron saint of what now? Photography. Oh yeah. That's oh. Becky. Her name's fucking Becky, of course. Everything turned out perfectly. My day was magic. Thank you all for coming and celebrating with us. And there she fucking is. Did she get married in the fucking Can you swamp? Pull that up for everyone? Can you yeah, pull you that see? up for everyone? That fucking wish.com wedding fucking duck dynasty bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you can all see it, right? Look at they look like they each have a different strain of fucking COVID. Look yeah. at these fucking bumps. Ain't a shower amongst them in the past three days. I know. Guaranteed. Like, first of all, they, did they uh, get married in a fucking marsh? Like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, why is there overgrowth? Is that a cornfield? What, what even is this? I think that's one of them highway pull-offs where if you're starting to fall asleep, you can just park for an hour. Take a nap. Yeah, this is where the FedEx guy gets a blowjob <laughs> <laughs> from the UPS guy. It's that's right across from the Walmart loading dock. Yeah. Like some shithole town. Oh. Yeah, look at this. Yep, that looks safe, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah this add add mosquitoes and ticks to the mix, you fucking silly bastard. I, 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 I just picture a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs yeah, there. Oh, yeah. Look at their in attendance. 
Yeah. Not a single person is wearing a goddamn mm. mask, obviously. But whatever. It's okay when, when they do it, right? So the ironic part is, right, that not only that, she's also been going to protest. Here's a picture of her and her crotch fruits at a Providence protest. Remember the ones where Warack started a riot and now they're yeah. in May? Yeah. yeah. So uh, she was at the War Rack riot and she goes, I didn't take many photos yesterday because I wanted my kids to know that uh, we want a present downtown for a photo opportunity, but I did snag this one. I gave them both the choice to stay home. I explained that we'd be doing some hard walking and masks around large crowds, but they both wanted to be there to show their support for black boys. As Otto, my older one, came to me directly to ask about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor after her favorite celebrities came out in support of Black Lives Matter. Oh, okay. So your celebrities. They're, that's who they're getting their news from, celebrities. I am now a Billy Ellish stan. I gave because I adore the girl for speaking in what, in, in a way that my Gen Z child could grasp the gravity of what is going on in our country. Marcy, my kind, sweet, passionate baby who needed the canceled Trump pin from the folks passing out the working class uh, socialist Marxist newspapers. Oh, so she's getting socialist, like, unfucking believable Unbelievable. So she goes to this whole thing. And it's just, she's brainwashing her kids. There's a huge fucking crowd there. She has no problem with this because, of course, COVID doesn't spread when you're, you know, when you're protesting for the patron saint of fentanyl, George Floyd, you know, constantly posting about, like, oh, just nonstop bullshit about blah, 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 blah. Oh, and by the way, she's on food stamps. So she goes, I got 55 US dollars for the 25th of September for food stamps. I haven't received anything for October. The government is seriously begrudging me 350 US dollars a month for food, yet they can give billions to big business for corporate welfare. Wait, hey, America. Wait, wait, wait. She wants 350? She says yeah. I'm supposed to get 350. Yeah. She wants more. Oh. So she's not getting enough food stamps. This All able-bodied right. woman who is completely capable of working herself, you know. And married to the swamp man just got married right yeah and she's like i mean talk about shame remember when people used to be shamed like Dude. it's okay to be on food stamps uh, but to me it's like i'm sorry like screenshot and your ebt balance to post on social media yeah, don't push that, your, don't that push is your, brisk that is brisk son <laughs> you're right about that that is brisk e -gads. yeah e gads gadzooks uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh so, anyway, despite being on, well, you know, food stamps, she has time to spend a few hundred bucks getting her, you know, hair braid extensions for the wedding, for the big oh. wedding, the COVID spreader, super spreader wedding. Uh, and she's also like, there are words I've been struggling to find. A lot of us have tried to downplay COVID to me, and I couldn't exactly explain why I've had such a visceral reaction to the blase attitude that a lot of people have had towards this global pandemic. I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. If I make it through 2020 without a hospitalization, it'll be my first year in six. So she's one of these failure swift people, Brett, always going to the hospital, yeah. always like, got something wrong with her, whatever. Or at least saying she's going. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, so that's but, uh, yeah. I bet she she got that other magic card too, though, that makes hospitals free. So she probably does go quite a bit trying yes, to get them scripples. Yes, she does. So she goes. Uh, no matter how healthy you think you are, COVID nineteen can come along and fuck your shit up. If it completely ravage a perfectly healthy young person, first of all, you're not. It can't. It, you're just lying. What could it do to a chronically ill person? Basically, this is she is the reason that we're locked down, Brett. Like we we can't go out because we're supposed to protect her, right? Oh. But, no, fuck them. I'm so sick of protecting people. I don't give a fuck about your grandma. I don't give a fuck about your your autoimmune failure swift bullshit. I don't care about any of that. None of that is my problem. America is all about taking care of yourself, right? And if I want to yeah. go out and do whatever the fuck I want to do. I'm going to do it. Fuck your health. That's what I think. Yeah, fuck and fuck your feelings. I'm yeah. going to go out tomorrow and just cough on babies all day. <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter, Brett, because man. they can't get commie cold. So it doesn't really fucking matter. <sighs> anyway, so it goes on to say, uh, let's Yuck. see. So here they are. So she's married to this guy named Jason Magnin. There they are right there. This guy did like a 180. Look at Ooh. his... Duck yep. Dynasty. Duck, but he wasn't always like this. This this is fucking him too. Look at him. Uh, he looks like a 
autistic fucking like what the fuck? That looks like a goma pile. You remember that? Yeah. Like, yeah. That guy yeah. sat in the front of the short bus, like every uh. he had front seat, dude. And you look up his Google trophy. He's been arrested for pretty much everything: violation of a no contact order several times, felony domestic assault, strangulation. He choked a bitch. Yeah. Uh, you know, dude, I got a Google trophy or two, but this motherfucker, it's oh, like a, a two minute scroll. Yeah, I love when you get Rhode Island people because it's all out there on the in the Rhode Island judicial porter. You can just look it up real easy. So obviously these people are a real fucking piece of work. Oh, they never paid the rent. They he used to be married. He got evicted with his first wife. Now he married this other woman. Tradition yeah. continues. They've been evicted. Like they don't like paying rent ever. Uh, and he's on fucking Facebook selling brand new watches out of the box. But the thing, wait, wait. What? So the thing where the judgment for the eviction, right? Yeah. Isn't it only like three hundred something dollars? Yeah, that's all it was. So is that some Section Eight rent you couldn't even pay? Because I don't know where the fuck you're renting anything for three fifty, man. That's a good point. Two grown ass people. Section Eight rent. Yeah. Well, they're getting the Section Eight because they got the crotch roots. Oh, so it's definitely some Section Eight rent then, because oh, now you got yeah. at least a two, if not three, yeah. whatever bedroom. She's quote unquote disabled. She's oh. got two kids. She wasn't legally married at the time. You, this chick, all your tax dollars are going to her. All of it. She's that's and then she's complaining that's not enough, and she's shitting on people for getting married. I want them. more food stamps and fuck this other happy bitch doing the same thing I did in the swamp last week. Yep. So this she is who, the sour patch kid, son. <laughs> She sucks. She got married. She is a sour, a sour bushman. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, this gentleman decides that he's going to message me. His name is Jason Magnin. There he is right there. Oh. Jason Magnin. And uh, uh, he messages me the following. Uh, he says, uh, oh, let's see. Move. Yo, you want to explain to me why you think it's okay to put all my family info on Facebook at all? Let alone the fact that you put my two underage children in the names up on your page, bitch. I'm so sick of this. When you take a screenshot of like when other people put their crotch roots up, right. And you just put a screenshot of it. And it's like, yo, why you put my kids up, bitch. You put your kids up. You put your kids up. I just took a screenshot of that. It was really cute when you were ver using your kids as props for black lives matter. Shit ain't so cute anymore. It's not so cute. Is it? You know? So anyway, I've contacted the police in one way or another. That crap line article will be coming down. Man, I don't think so. I did not give you consent to use my children. This is like all the recycled turtle boy cliches. Like, yo, you don't have my consent. It's, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm calling the cops. You like have one of those flip card things, like where you just shuffle the deck and yes. read off each one. And yes, there's got, always three that have been recycled a million times. Yes, he's using all of them. He's this guy's got them all. Right. I'm He's waiting for the rapist thing. Yeah. So he goes, uh, also, you have caused a professional photographer to have to shut down a business. You are a fucked up individual. You should learn to keep your nose out of other business. I saw the last dude threaten you. Blah, 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 blah. So he's mad about that. Then he goes on to say, fuck you. Because I'm like, yo, come on the show. Fuck you. Take that shit down. You put my kids out there is a no go. I've spoken to an attorney and I'm speaking with the police as well. Oh, good, because you probably have outstanding warrants, so you should probably speak to them. So, <laughs> get my feeling of your website. Stop being a fucking scumbag. I don't give a fuck what she did. None of it involved you at all. You're just some fuck who thinks it's okay to blast on my family. You have caused the photographers a lot. Of I like how he's hiding behind. Like, yo, you hurt the photographers. Nah, they're good. They're good. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, stop hiding behind them. They'll be fine. Okay. Do the decent thing. Stay out of other people's. Grow the fuck up. My lawyer, blah, blah, blah. And he oh, says, watch, he tells me, watch your back. I'm going to hurt you if you don't take this shit down now. Blah, blah, oh, blah. So, you know, great. this can only leave us with one option, Brad, at this point. <sighs> Guess what we have to do? We have to call. We really need a little theme song for the phone call segment. That's a good call. Yeah, turn a rider on that. Something, you know. Yeah. A little jingle. Da, da, da. You know what time it is, Brett? And you just hit your little button. It's phone time. Phone, phone time. Okay. Let's uh, get yeah. a little Hopefully phone. It's, it's calling. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Hello? Jason? Yeah? Hello? Did he hang up? Oh, wait, let me call him. It, we're just gonna keep calling him until the answer. He, it's ringing though. That's good. That means it's him. Oh, someone has his number. 
Barely oh, they, quiet. Oh, they got that number. Okay, we're calling it. I'll call his phone. Is that really his number, fake Brian Riccio? No, oh, come on. Don't. Yeah. Get, that, that's the same dude in the comments that's just saying he'd suck my dick if I'd let him. Literally, if you scroll up, he just said that. And you're going to trust the number off that fucking TikTok? Kind don't of. Don't do it. I oh, kind of. Don't do it, Bob. Okay. Don't do it, Captain. He's not answering. He's no fun. Let's go on to the next topic, shall we? Because we got more. Wait, call. call her. I don't have her phone number. She's she disabled her Facebook. Oh. Yeah, she took that shit down. All right, let's talk about the next topic, shall we? I want to talk about this Revere GoFundMe because this is another where got ratchets up the ass. Oh my goodness gracious! All right, I'm so I've seen the comments for this one. Yeah, last hard. weekend uh, on uh, I-95 in Norwood, the cops go to pull over a vehicle that is speeding, and uh, first of all, the driver's name is Wilden. Or Wilden, and I shit you not. I thought this was a joke. This is his legal last name, Brett. What? T Music. Wilden T Music. That's his fucking name. Okay? So there he is right there. That is exactly what a person named Wilden, Wilden T Music, I would expect him to look like. The other guy's name is Adam Rodriguez. They, of course, are from Revere. Obviously. Jeez. There they are right there. I think and so. they were driving along on I 95 in Norwood. At 2.30 in the morning, when a state trooper decided to pull them over for speeding, in Sharon, actually, and they decided they weren't going to do that. And so they started speeding, and then, like, minutes later, crash, they're dead. So they're both dead. Anyway, a GoFundMe is created for them. And they raise one of them, a Wilden T Music raises, when I screenshot it, $24,000. The other one was at $15,000. And this is like the fucking thing there right now, right? My family and I are going through a tragic time. Unfortunately, our baby brother, Wilden, was in a car accident and passed away. We ask you to donate any amount possible to help with the funeral costs. We appreciate all the help we can get and all the kind words. Wilden was a special person. He touched everyone's hearts in more ways than one. He was an amazing son, brother, uncle, and friend. Wilden was so thoughtful and cared about others so much and always wanted the best for people. He is truly missed and loved. Daggy, we love you forever. You were our everything. Okay, so this is a sensitive topic because he's dead, and you know, that sucks when anybody dies, I guess. But at the same time, this GoFundMe, I feel like, is almost fraudulent because their car accident, Brett, car accident. Yeah. Would you characterize it as a car accident? No. I, yeah. It's cause and effect, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when people die young, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know, it's if if you didn't choose this path, you'd probably got a ticket, went to KFC or wherever the fuck y'all were going and been fine. You'd, well, you'd I don't think you would have. That's the thing. I don't think you would have, Brett. Why do you think they ran? Gun. Drug. I'm, I'm guessing something was in the car that was thrown out of the car. I'm guessing. I'm going to go out in a while. You know what I mean? I feel like if you get pulled over at 2.30 for speeding, you're stopping. Unless there's a reason not to stop. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would think, but yeah. who knows? Yeah, That's I never know. Speculation. So anyway, I write this whole thing, and it's a really short blog, right? Like, there he is right there. I'm not going to, like, shit on the dead because they're fucking dead. But they weren't fucking innocent. Like, they endangered the lives of other people, right? Yep. I mean, so, like, that's – you're not innocent when you do something like that. So anyway, um, I – so I get all these messages about it. I've been getting messages about these people all fucking week, right? And let's let's read some of them. Let's see what we got here. See? Okay. Oh, shit. Read them in my Mexican accent thing. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, Come on. In your Mexican accent? Yeah, that one. Last okay. week. So this is from AJ Ferreira. He's hey, like, yo, man. did you post this? And I'm like, uh, I'm like you are mentally ill. I will be waiting. No, this is the wrong the wrong order. I got to go with the fuck. Because I, I agree to fight this guy. I, I agree to fight him. We don't fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he goes, that's just not funny. They raised 40 grand because people care about them. You are a jealous, hating ass bitch. Well, I'm not really jealous because I'm alive. But no, go on. Uh, you got nothing better to do than sit at your house and write a report on a dead man. You have no remorse, you fucking fag. Right? 
you even edited the photo to make it say a hundred grand, bro. You're a fucking phony. Uh, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, you're right. I'm like, I, I, I have no, I have no remorse for this individual. Like this individual engaged in a lifestyle that was highly likely to end, you know, with his expiration and it did. So shocking. Right. He died in the commission of committing a crime. That's yeah, right. It's like saying like, yo, yo, so uh, yo, RIP to those, to the, to those guys that hijacked the planes on nine 11. You know what I mean? Don't disrespect the dead, Brett. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, fuck yo, I they were all the fucking pussies in your comments and shit of it. Yeah. Like, yo, they uh, was just about to turn their life around. You know, uh, they was just going through a jihad phase. You know what I mean? Did so someone like, have a barbershop too? I mean, yeah, the cliche like bullshit. The barbershop, yep. dog. Like they passed three drug tests in a row. So <laughs> things were looking up. Things were looking up, you know. Granted, it was, you know, they got fake. They got pissed from the guy from CeeLo down the block. but that, And whatever. he gets to see his kid this Christmas. Exactly. So where? Yeah, he got, he got his kid a toy and shit. <laughs> All you right, know. come on. We got to stop. Fucking. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Usually you know, yo, bro, you story. wrote it like a joke. Are you kidding me? Once again, you are just mad because their GoFundMe's raised more revenue than you could generate in years, which is very like I'm fucking jealous of this guy because he raised GoFundMe. Like, dude, he's dead. I'm not jealous of a dead guy, okay? And he's like, yo, they're all mad because I I got sent the screenshot, and they were supposed to. It said on the screenshot their goal was a hundred thousand. They must have lowered it after the fucking blog came out, right? And so right. AJ's like, you probably think this shit's real funny, bro. You dead fuck with the wrong group of people. Just wait, bro. They didn't change uh -uh. it. Like, you know, this group of people don't give a shit what you do. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, personally, I'd like to kick your teeth in. I'm a busy man. So I leave that to the people who ah, generated busy. much hate for you uh, on this little boy. Okay, old man, you need some fucking hair on your head. Like, he thinks I'm somebody else. Like, I'm hair on my head. Yeah, what and he goes, fuck? and he goes, yo, you want to meet me somewhere? Now, Brett, you're an old school turtle rider. Newer people don't remember this. Where do I always tell people I want to meet? Behind them? motherfucking Whitco, son. Whitco, son. I'm noon. like, meet, high noon. No yep. police. That's exactly what I told him. Right. Like, yeah, I go meet me at Whitco. High noon. No police. <laughs> He's like, yo, yo, we you know for saying that. I'll bring all the people who just loved your article too. And he's like, um. I'll be waiting. I, he might have gone to Whitco. I don't know. And uh, the best we, thing would be if we found a video or someone found a, a live stream of them waiting behind Whitco for him. I know, dude. <laughs> I gotta start doing that. Just tell people to meet me at Whitco and then just go there and uh, take pictures. Yeah. So let's uh, let's, call, let's call AJ. So this is AJ in all his glory. AJ. Oh, for fuck's sake. There he is. So, um. Anyway, so there he is right there. And let's give him a call. Hey, Jizzle, my nizzle. We're going to give him a call. Tom, hit him with the car to be say, okay. Oh, it's calling. Oh, we might get an answer. Let's see. Please pick up. Please pick up. Please pick up. Shh. Don't scare him. Fucking pussies. Yo. Oh, my dog. Yo, dog. Damn, these people, it's like, hello. This is my dog, AJ. Oh, okay, one more time. Then we'll I got one more ratchet we can call. If he doesn't, okay, he, so he's not in. He's being no fun. No fun. Okay. Bunch of bitches, man. All this fucking mouth and PMs and all this other bullshit. Yeah. Then you get the chance. Say anything you want. No, he goes, yo, and, he's messaging me. He says, he goes, you're so lucky, you ugly. Fuck, stop calling, messaging me, annoying, ugly ass kid. Okay, how do they not answer? Come on, dude. So answer the phone, puss. Pick up the phone. I know you're at home. You make no money and never will. Answer the phone, pussy. I'm your jelly up. Your jelly up a dead guy's GoFundMe. That's yeah. a new one, though. I'll no, give him credit on that. Yo, That's you new. Like, yo, you wish you were dead and raised twenty five thousand for your funeral. Not I mean. Yeah, word. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiots. Goes, I'm with a girl. You fucking mong. Something you uh, never I know about. I call bullshit. Yeah, I've definitely never been with a girl before, for sure. Good point. Okay. 
<laughs> so uh, we got one more we could try calling here, though. This guy is so ratchet, though. Okay, so he's not answering. He's no fun. And let's see what else we got here. So the other chick that commented on there, this other chick messages me. Her name is, uh, let's see. Her name Oops. is. Fuck these people. What's Olivia Simonelli. Okay? Oh, oh. So she goes, hey, scumbag. Why don't you mind your own business? You're obviously fucking trash. Wilden and Adam didn't deserve to die. So how about you don't make an article about them? Because what if that was your family or friend, you fucking idiot? Well, first of all, it wouldn't be my family or friend because my family or friends don't get in high-speed chases on the highway with state police. That doesn't happen. Like, they kind of did, though, you know? They kind of did deserve to die. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, I, I wouldn't go as far as deserve, but it's cause and effect, man. Yeah. You took that chance. Do I have to quote the wire not again? Nothing. Yeah. Huh? Do I have to not quote the nothing. wire again, Brett? Do I have to go quote ahead. Snoop? Go Yo, ahead. deserve ain't got nothing to do with it. Remember that? She tells, she tells that to Michael. She when Michael's like, "Yo, why he deserved to die? Yo, youngin, deserve ain't got nothing to do with it. Know what I mean?" <laughs> That's a good voice. Yeah, got nothing to do you with watch it. Way too much of that I've show. watched way too much of The Wire. Deserve ain't got nothing to do with it. He, the boss man say he needs to get done, so he need to get done. Know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, what were you saying? I interrupted. No, you. I, I wouldn't go as far as deserve, but yeah. like if if you don't do it, you don't do it. Like it's yeah. you did it to you. I'm not gonna feel bad for something you did to yourself. Yeah. Exactly. I'm surprised uh, they're not blaming the cops. They're not blaming. Oh, they pretty much are. I don't know. I'm sure. They, I'm sure that's coming. I don't think the Hispanics do all that protesting and shit, though. Well, like, you know what I mean. I, I haven't seen white. Guy's white. Wilden the is other white. Guy Hispanic. The other day, the other yeah, they're not really into that. You, that's interesting. That's a good point. How come Hispanics aren't into like Hispanic Lives Matter? Because they're not. They got other shit to worry about, man. They're doing other shit you know what i mean they're not they i mean oh, they get arrested they're not like, like poor us sa <laughs> let's go burn down taco bell they don't do that silly shit no 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 they're no. not playing victim they're out there not for nothing working hard and shit and stuff yeah. so fuck them, you know they're not little <laughs> perpetual victims what no, I, I I feel you. She goes, yo, you got kids. I hope they never make a mistake in their life. You are literally scum of the earth. Okay, so you have to make a fucking rude ass article about it. Like nothing was funny about that whatsoever. What if you, one of your kids, like, come on, grow up, hiding, quit hiding behind a screen. You're a disgusting man. Were you there? And Adam wasn't raising a hundred thousand. They're all obsessed with this number. Like, yo, he was only trying to raise forty thousand, dog. Uh, yeah, you're so literally trash. I would hate to see you in public. Uh, you can write poor you in your little post, but didn't have a fucking uh, heart for other people. You're clearly a fucked up human. Was this you crying over an article about you? And she she like shares a picture of my, um, she goes, I've never been so depressed. No, so basically she showed a screenshot of me selling my book on yeah. my own Facebook page. She's like, is this you? You look, you know, you're a pedophile. And she goes, what do you call this? And I'm like, I call yeah, it her trying to sell a book. I'm trying to sell a fucking book. What do you think I was doing? So should we call her? Or is that a stupid sure. question? Yeah. Okay. We're going to give her a call. See? <laughs> what do they call the broads in that movie? I can't think of it. Um, pick, up, pick up the phone, mamacita. Come on, come on. Blood in, blood out, Holmes. Welcome to Dial a Ratchet. And a little jingle. I'm like a dancing phone. Ding, 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 ding. All right, we're calling her. Let's see what she says. Got too excited when I hear it ringing. I know, I know. It's like that's why I messaged them earlier in the day, so like it automatically rings at least. I figured I, that out. I literally just shushed oh. my cat. She did. Is this uh, Olivia? Yeah. Hi, this is uh, Aiden from Turtle Boy. How you doing? 
I'm good, thank you. So thank you for coming on. Uh, I wanted to talk about your messages that you sent me um, and tell me, you think I was being rude or what? I think, I was I think people are being rude. You think what? I think you are being rude. But don't, what do you think about like speeding on the highway going like, you know, a hundred miles an hour, putting other people in danger? You think that's rude? Gee. That, that doesn't give anyone a reason to die. And like you oh, are I not agree. Heard about someone just losing their life. Yeah, that was, you know, but don't you think that they're ultimately responsible for that? No one else? Yeah. Kind of threw it away. Didn't really I lose it. Have a heart for someone that just lost their life and families that are grieving and friends that are grieving, and you had the audacity to post Ooh. something about them. Yeah, but you understand, like, what did I? All of my big beef there was that they're using this "quote unquote" tragedy, which was entirely their fault. You recognize that, right? That was one hundred percent. It is a tragedy, though. Why are you trying to make it not a tragedy? He just said it was. He agreed that it's a tragedy. Yeah, He's well, agreeing it, with you. It's a shame they threw their lives away, but it was entirely yeah. their fault, right? Yeah. Right. I say that again. It, like, it's a shame that anybody has to die that they had to like throw their life away like that. But like, you recognize that it was entirely. Their fault, right? Like a hundred percent. No, uh, we can agree to disagree. And well, whose fault agree. was it? So whose fault was it? Yeah, tell me. I just don't like why. Why are you so mad about someone that just lost their life? Could you well, just pop go into rest in peace? See, but just tell us whose fault it is. That he just asked a question. It's real easy. Just answer it. Whose fault was it? There's no one's fault. There's no oh. one. So it's like a kid with cancer. Shit just happens. Is that what you're saying? Divine intervention. Are you, are you good in the head? <laughs> yeah. Andresa. Right, good. Well, I'm alive. I have that going for me, right? You're just a fucking asshole. Yeah, you think you're like mentally ill. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Dos papitos. Yeah, so they hung up. So, yeah. Oh. Mentally ill. Okay. So there they are. Dos papitos. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, want to go to the next she topic? She sounded hot to me, son. She's like, and then you have the audacity. Yeah, I mean, I, it might just a lack of personal responsibility. That's all I'm saying. Can we get a little personal responsibility? Is that too much to ask for? Nope. You're just jealous of their GoFundMe money. Exactly. Like, that's With my the theory. Go, GoFundMe money. But he's dead. So how jealous am I? Like, I'm jealous of the grieving family. What? Huh? I just think it's fucking like dishonest to be like, yo, he died accidentally. Like, like there's no responsibility whatsoever. Like nobody who will be attending his funeral learned a goddamn thing from that. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't like that. Whose fault was it? Question. Then the no. second Pito came in and said, oh, shut it down. Shut that shit down. Shut that shit down. Okay. Let's go on to the next topic, shall we? Is it punchy? What was that? Yes. Someone in this fucking list got to answer. Dude. Yeah, They're so all coming yeah, this is the big one. I right haven't here. seen a group of fucking retards like this since the first coal rape story, son. <laughs> these are some cousin aunt girlfriends and shit in this motherfucker. Yes. Look at these winners. Yes, it is. Someone will pick up. I have faith. That's God, I hope so. God, I hope so. Okay. So uh, what we have here, um, a gentleman by the name of Cameron Burns. And by the way, before we go on, let me uh, refresh the donos. Let's see if we reached our level. Um, so we are at, uh, 140 so far and let's see, I'd like to thank the following Alexandra B, uh, says, we love you. I appreciate that. Uh, I love you too, Alexandra. We also have, um, Adam Delory says great content lately. Thanks for your hard work and ability to give voices to us. Social media is liberal only ideas. You're goddamn right about that. Anything else is labeled as missing context, followed by a liberal's explanation. Goddamn right about that, Adam Delory. Uh, headline reads, Mama gets two black eyes and a bro broken jaw. Label it missing context. She was getting bukkakinied by all of her best friends. Yeah. Oh. I get your point, Adam. I appreciate that. Johnny Mac says, thanks for the content and entertainment during this shutdown. Finally caught up and can start donating again. Well, I appreciate that, Johnny Mac. Adam Delory said, oh, that was the other night. So we're up to 140. We're just a little bit short, guys, of the uh, money that we need there uh, to make sure that this happens. So feel hey. free to donate. Going yeah, now. It's right there on the oh. side of the screen, fool. 
All right. What do we got next? Let's talk about this story. All right. So this is Cameron Burns. He's from Wilmington, Massachusetts. And as you can see from the chin strap <laughs> and the haircut, Brett, and the dog filter, he's obviously a real winner, right? He's 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 a tough fella. Yeah. I never so, understood the guys using the dog thing. Yeah. You the what? Guys using it. I see broads trying to be cute and stupid and all that shit, but dudes using it. Yeah. Like a guy put that's not a, a picture of him and his girlfriend, and she said, oh, I'll put these fucking things on us. It's just him. Like he yeah. was sitting there jerking off the fucking grinder videos and said, Let me put this dog filter page up. See if any of the homies like it. Look at, <laughs> Look at that picture you're on right there. You don't think yeah. not the dick surpass them lips? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so you see there, right? The guy on the left. Do you recognize him? No. Okay. Well, he was on a previous blog, a couple blogs on Turtle Boy. Do you recognize him now? Is that the fucking across from the uh, from the school, and the kid had the anklet? Yes, this is the, the uh, video. <laughs> this right? is the rap video from Bill Ricca, led by <laughs> Rizzy and crew. It's no longer up because they forgot to pay the production guy. So the video, unfortunately, that masterpiece no longer exists out there. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. It's because they couldn't have video proof that that guy was that close to a fucking school. That's why the fuck they had to take that shit down. <laughs> uh, they obviously do. There they, go. they do bro stuff together. They're good friends. And let's see what we got here. They're, uh, there he is doing you know fun stuff, riding bikes and wrestling right there. They're good buddies. They're good buddies. They're old friends. <laughs> so anyway, all of a sudden, this uh, poor girl gets posted uh, with her goddamn you know eye shut and stuff like that. And she's like, I don't bring this shit to social media, but if you hit a girls, you're a bitch. I don't give a fuck, blah, blah, blah. So you've seen these pictures before, Brett, right? And like yeah. I tend to stay away from these stories, right? Yeah, yeah. Because there's always more to it. You know what I mean? Like, there's like I feel like there's often more to it, or like I don't know how crazy this woman is. Like I don't know the story or the history. And right. Yeah, yeah. All I see is a woman with a black eye, and I don't know how the fuck it got like that. And it's it it obviously looks bad, but I, I don't know the fucking story. Luckily, this dumb motherfucker gave a full confession. Okay, <laughs> so he decided that it would be wise. Uh, to go and by the way, he's been arrested before Cameron Burns um, uh, for assault and battery. So it's in his thing, but he gets ratted out by his boy Tyler, his good butt buddy. There, he says, "This is what Cameron Burns does to girls. Don't be like this fucking clown. Karma's a bitch." And th then this guy tries to prove that he's innocent by posting a conversation uh, that he had with Tyler on Instagram. But literally all this conversation does, Brett, is prove that yeah. he did it. Like he confessed. He rats himself out. He rats himself out. That's exactly what happens. Uh, so he goes, uh, he's like, uh, he goes, dude, I don't care. The situation is blown out the fucking water and you're going around calling me a woman beater. I'm getting so many screenshots sent to my fucking messenger. Bro, you fucking kidding me? You fucked up. You know, it's like you fucking fucked her up, dude. Bad, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so they go on, they're talking, and basically the gist of this is that, let me see if I can find this, because it's so ratchet, this whole situation, right? Um, Let's see. I'm getting, let's see. Dude, this entire thing is all over your, so this is the woman beater talking, Cameron Burns. He goes, this entire thing is all over your fucking girl, Hannah. I went to Drew's house two days ago now to fix his fucking vehicle's Drew showed up with both the girls. <coughs> I fixed his fucking dirt bike and his motorcycle, but he didn't get to his car. We all drank, got pizza, then went to Boston. He took the bike. Nick and Joey were in the back seat. Hannah may not recall what happened, but I sure as fuck do, and so doesn't everyone else. Her first question was, so are you single? I said, yes, I am, because I am. Then the next word out of her mouth was, bet, and I laughed. And so we're all just hanging out. This bitch is all over me. Then Nick, then Joey, then I Drews. I had Carissa and Kayla come over. She was all mad and BS. Then the night started to get more, uh, get more tense because both girl parties didn't like each other. Because Hannah said some shit to Carissa. So Carissa and Kayla went to Carissa's and Nick drove me fucking home. But because I made a fucking Snapchat. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're right there, bro. Do you need me to mute you? Oh, oh fuck. I thought I had already muted myself. Yeah, gonna, my bad yeah, that's not pretty. You should get that checked I'm out. Sorry. That sounds worse than it's COVID. Fun. That sounds worse than COVID. Okay. My fault. No, no, all good. So he goes on to say, um, uh, Hannah, then some shit to Carissa. So Carissa and Kayla went to Carissa's and Nick drove me fucker home. But because I made a fucking Snapchat that Nog got green, that Nog taking green tea shots with the baby filter and your girl was kind of hanging on to me. Jess saw it and I legit told her that was one of Tyler's girls and it was a fucking shit show all night with Jessica. Now fast forward to the fucking next day, still dealing with the BS. I just want to have a good ass night, but no, all the girls got to start. Then you started and then I got involved and it was a big shit show. Then I told you in the kitchen Hannah was all over me and Joey Nick and you called her a pedophile because Joey's underage girl granted was funny but not fucking needed Tyler then Hannah or someone threw under the bus about her grabbing my shit then she denied it of course Jessica was there and then went on and Hannah outside saying you're all over my boy blah 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 Hannah asked me if Hannah don't even do that don't do it to yourself and then she continued and I said Hannah so you weren't grabbing my dick in the fucking car trying to blow me in front of two of my boys like what you and then you went off and then left I don't know where the fuck you went then Jessica claims she lost her laptop quote on quote unquote <laughs> quote unquote yeah. help help me find it so so far no fucking clue. do you have any clue what they're talking about somebody's grabbing someone's dick right i don't know they're all yeah I, I it's disturbing that they glazed over and then he was making jokes about that girl trying to fuck an underage kid and yeah it's yeah, funny like, but not it's like wait what yeah that <laughs> kind of that got, story that kind of just got thrown in there didn't it yeah so he goes on to say, uh, he's like, yo, fucking, um, and I said, Hannah, so you want to grab my dick in the fucking car trying to blow me, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, quote unquote, help me find it. So now he goes in a house with, I think one of these whores, not whores. I shouldn't say that. I'm sure they're lovely people. Oh uh, no, they're fucking whores. Yeah. Okay. So he goes I'll inside. Bet. <laughs> uh, everyone's house me jessica uh, kelly are in the house i knew jessica wanted to start a fucking issue tyler so we go inside the house she shuts the door behind us of course so it's jessica's in there she must be the blonde instantly goes to the couch doesn't even look for her quote unquote missing laptop so she goes in there under the guise that she has a missing laptop and yep. uh we're gonna see something's gonna He's happen and bamboozled yeah instantly Goodwin. what He's been hoodwinked. He got trapped into the room. Yes, he has been. Yeah. Instantly sits down and goes, you fucking lies to me yet again. You're a fucking scam, loser, piece of shit. I hope you died. That bitch was all over you and grabbing your shit. You're such a piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. So he, <laughs> so basically, so what we have here is that this woman thinks she's in a relationship with this gentleman here. and But this other bitch was grabbing his dick, right? Yep. And she got mad about that. But here's the, the twist. The other hoe who was grabbing his dick didn't really want him. She was only doing it to make Tyler, the other guy with the tattoo on his face, jealous. Are we caught up here? Yeah, I'm I'm good. This is a perfect I'm just normal... waiting for the part where she turns into John Jones. So continue, please. <laughs> yes, this is a perfectly normal, <laughs> you know, weekend in Bill Ricca. Okay? So yep. it goes on to say, um, you're such a piece of shit, blah, blah, blah. So here I go defending my situation saying, dude, I didn't even do a fucking thing with her, dude. She was doing that to make Tyler fucking mad. I didn't do a fucking thing. As I'm arguing, I'm going to sit down so we could talk. She instantly fucking snaps, dude. Like snap, start slapping me, hit me. I grab her hands. She headbutted me. So I let go of her hands and check my face to make sure I wasn't bleeding. Then she kicked me. It all happened so fucking fast, Tyler. So according to him, this chick starts slapping him. I don't doubt that she slapped him. I mean, some chicks slap dudes, right? She yeah. headbutted me? Okay, sure thing. And then, okay, so what do you do in that situation if a crazy bitch like that starts slapping you in the face and stuff, bro? What do you do? You kick her ass? You, you fucking rampage Jackson at one elbow to the mouth and then punch her until she's fucking unconscious. No, sir. You grab her at the most. You grab her, shove her away from you, and you jet. You can't be whooping bitches. I was joking. Someone's gonna isolate that and fucking make me up to be a massage therapist. I, I was like, I was wait, fucking playing. So, uh, the, so obviously, on, I mean, how hard is it? If you have a woman trying to hit you, it's like how hard is it? Just hold her fucking wrists, right? And then it's like cut the fucking shit. Like just throw. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I can isolate or neutralize that situation. Grab the you know, hands and start yelling. Someone's gonna hear you yelling and open the door. 
There's people are everywhere, right? There's yeah. Come to him. Do yeah. What you got to do, but staying in the locked room and fucking fighting back probably not the best fucking option. Yeah. So uh, obviously, this is what he goes on to say. Um, he goes, she goes. Um, let's see. I legit got up and she came and kicked me from behind. I legit told her on the couch to fucking. St- Why is he on the couch to fucking stop? And she said, "What are you gonna hit me?" Like everyone else, like you're a fucking scram. Fuck you talking all this shit now. I'm standing. She kicks me in the pot behind my leg. So it makes me like all fine. Fuck, kind of. I don't know what I'm standing. Uh, what? What? She tripped him? Like, she fucking Jackie Chan's me. Yeah, so she, like, Jack, she, the gave him the fucking, like, she gave him the Chun Lee. Like, scrubbed him. Tiger headed ratchet. And all of a sudden, yeah. she's kicking the shit like, out of him. Back down kick button. She gave him the Ryu. Yeah, so she goes on to say, um, I turned around. Uh, I don't, she goes, I don't fucking know. I don't know what that pot's called. I turned around open handed and just do a 180, basically, and my back of my hand, fingers, knuckles, and like some of my wrist connect with her face. <laughs> Did the John Jones spinning back so, fist. Yeah, so it's like spinning around. Whack. And then, oh, yeah, I accident. Don't you hate that, Brett? When, like, oh. a, a bitch's face gets in the, you're, you're like, just spinning. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, a, a woman's head hits your knuckles. Isn't that the worst? It, Don't you hate that? It's not nearly as bad as when me and my wife are in the kitchen, you know, making dinner together. I accidentally elbow her in the temple. Sucks. Hate it. Yeah. And it's blood it's, and, it's uh, the worst. That ache. It's the worst. Yeah. Jeez. So he goes on to say, uh, this is all entirely fucking bullshit. This entire fucking past two days with bullshit. Me and her didn't argue, fight, or have an altercation in the past two weeks since we got back together. It's been absolutely fucking amazing. As soon as I come back and hang out, this BS happens. She even said that to me at the fucking truck before you showed up so everyone could think what they want to know what happens. I'm not fucking perfect. I'm only human. Yeah, he's only not perfect, Brett. Sometimes he yeah. just knocks a bitch out. spinning back fist the bitch in the face. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just come back home uh, after a two-week getaway and a bitch runs into your fists. Shit yep, happens, great. you know? Some bitch grabs your fault. dick and you back fist the, another one. Yeah, it's like, so you come home and you, your boy Tyler, his girl's trying to make him jealous is grabbing your dick and then your girl sees that and she don't like that so she starts kicking the shit out of you when you accidentally hit her with your knuckles. Shit. Fucking, fucking happened John Wickham, yeah. Yeah, yeah happened Tuesday in Bill Rickham, man. What are you going to yeah. do? <laughs> Mike Gaffney's in the comments, I see. I love the parody accounts. I love the parody accounts. All right. She goes on to say, um, so everyone can think what they want. I know what the fuck happens. So doesn't she? The fuck is that? Uh, I'm not fucking part. I'm uh, blah blah blah. Anyway, I'm fucking. She goes talking about. Fu- I was heated. I was heated, but it was a heated fucking moment because one of your many fucking whores who I wants. I told to- you they were all whores. Yeah, to fuck all your boys, to get you mad, you Nick, Drew, and whoever else doesn't know me and just good relationship, and I don't expect. He spelled expect. E X S P E C T. Expect. I don't <laughs> expect One. you all to, to, but I'm losing sleep over this fucking shot. I feel remorseful. I slapped a girl. <laughs> this is like, this is his, I didn't do nothing rant, Brett. Like he's like, yeah, I, no, I, I no. Slap. if you're going to proclaim your innocence on in an Instagram rant, try to avoid the, uh, the phrase, I slapped a girl. That is yeah. not. Like that doesn't prove you're innocent. That actually proves that you're guilty, right? And he goes and on to say, "Who's who's he saying all this to? Who? To uh, the other Tyler, dude, right? Tyler, to his boy Tyler." Listen, not- let's hold on for a second. All of this, man, to another dude. All this fucking crying, yeah, and this fucking novel he's written is to another dude. Yes, yes, that's it. So that's yeah, I'll wait until you get to the end of it, but I yeah. think they cut a text off of this. I think there's a text at the end that says, this is what happens when you run off and fuck chicks, bro. Come home. Yeah. That's yeah. what the fuck I think is going on here. Yeah. A man can only take so fucking much, Tyler. Yeah. We all have our breaking point, and this is why I fell off for two weeks. I was having fun, dude, carving pumpkins, cuddling. Oh, this is where it gets <laughs> I was having fun for two weeks. Cuddling with her and her daughter, 
got away from alcohol and all the BS and madness, but you won't understand to you, I'm a fucking monster or woman beater, and that sucks. Just in case you block me, you tend to do that. So oh. anyway, so that's basically uh, what happens here. So um, blah, blah, blah. He confesses the whole thing. He did it all. And this is the kind of douchebag we're dealing with here, right? Yeah. Dudes with this is what he posts on September 24th. Dudes with good dick don't even worry no more. They be like, Welp, she back. She be back. If you've ever referred to yourself as dude with good dick, I know one thing about you. You don't have good dick. Okay? I think that's one of his common misspellings of simple words. Is that ain't supposed to say she? Yeah. That's supposed <laughs> to say he and for yes. his little butt buddy there. Look yeah. at these dudes. I mean, like, this on. is this is like some Schmitz gay shit. Oh. This is like, you know. Butt cheeks were potted, son. Things clapped. <laughs> Look at them motherfuckers. Yeah. They parted those butt cheeks like Ooh, the Red Sea. Not a girl in any of these pictures except that one. And yeah. is that the one that he used as a puncher bag? Because not for nothing, man. And I'm not trying to women that you shouldn't be bashing bitches or nothing like that. I'm not saying that that's good. But that was a that's a man punch, son. That eye, yeah. That's a man punch. That wasn't no fingers hit accident bullshit. That was a pull your hand back and punch her like a dude. Right. Punch. Like she got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. He he whack. And he looks like exactly the kind of guy that has no problem punching a chick, as we're going to no. say. So she goes, um, yo, I had a weird ass dream last night. I went to the bank with my boy. Can't really remember, but I remember it's just like, it's just ghetto shit. He drinks forties. Okay. Here he is. Um, this is what he wrote on August 18th. Just when you think you couldn't meet someone worse than your last ex, another female comes along and proves there's worse than your last. Have you ever referred to women as a female? That's pretty ratchet. I think. No, that's a wiggery thing. That's that a wiggery, uh, yeah. hood ratty. Yo, a female. Uh, yo, uh, and that, so, and you don't know our relationship. You don't know how she treat me. So yeah. Shut up. Like that's the same type of vernacular. Yeah. yeah. Got to use vernacular. So anyway, um, I swear to God, every female that has one fucking friend that is no good for them, that one friend that is a train wrecking whore and can't keep their nose out their girl's business and destroy it all, tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait. Every female I ever dated had one friend out of hundreds I could stand. Am I the only one? Right. So if you yeah. constantly find yourself saying like, yo, all these females is whores and bitches and I can't be fine and going, maybe you're part of the problem. Maybe well, you, you said you just spent all that diary letter to your boyfriend talking about all the whores. So you decided that what you wanted to do at your night was go drink with a bunch of whores by your own words. And then you yeah. wonder why you end up with a whore that you got to, you know? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Well, totally. it's you. What do you, is it just me? Yeah, it's you, motherfucker. Yeah, it's all you. All you. Stay with men. You ain't built for bitches. You're like you're, a ghetto, a, a ghetto male version of Taylor Swift. Like it's like I got this maybe, guy Ryan. I want to hook you, you up. Know? With. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so here he is. Uh -oh. I don't know if he was crippled back then, so he, this is what he shares in May. So I made Fresh this the emergency room. room. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's like a Jerry's kid. Like, you just, you know, yo, I'm paralyzed, but I'm still living my life. Like, yo, I get this hit by my, a train. Yeah, but ain't this is my make a wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, here's my dad. He was a long snapper for the Patriots back in 84. Like, oh, uh, he goes, yeah. um, anyway, so he goes, so I made the post about my father dying this day five years ago, and I have very little pics. My aunt messaged me on my Facebook and sent me this. Don't judge me. So there he is with his pod dukes. And as it turns out, Brent, did you see what his, uh, why his father's yeah. not alive? He forgot yeah, to mention, yeah. kind of like earlier with the GoFundMe. They forgot the most important part of the he's dead post. And he's dead because he jumped out of a nine-story building shortly after killing his wife. Yeah, shortly after using his wife as a knife holder. Yes. Multiple times. So shortly after, you know, knife in her up, he decides to jump out of a building and he's dead. Okay. So, uh, and, and when somebody brought that, he's like, yo, bro, you serious? Why you be bringing that up? That whole murder suicide thing. You know what I mean? Well, it's kind of relevant. Yeah. It seems a little bit relevant. <laughs> no? You're celebrating this dude that killed your fucking mother and then fucking offed himself nine stories up. Yeah. Fuck you. It's relevant as fuck to say, Hey, ain't that that dude? Yeah. yeah. 
So luck, here's the thing. He didn't have anybody really defending him. Like nobody defended this dude. He was like public enemy number one. So I can't even call him because he's taken his page down. However, yeah. um, I do have a woman messaged me about him. And this is kind of a, a hidden thing here. And she, this is what she says to me. I'm not sure if you've gotten a message about Cam Rivers. He harassed the shit out of me for years. So bad that his own father, so the dead guy, would message her uh. and text her all the time, checking in on her. So this is what he does. He shockingly, this is not the first time he, he beat a bitch, right? Uh, she goes, uh, so she started sending me some messages from the father, okay, uh, that, that he used to wrote to her. And this is what um, the father, the dead guy, the dead father, the murderer, wrote to the girl who his son was assaulting, right? So basically, we broke officially like two weeks ago, she says, but he's so crazy. He doesn't get it. Like we were not together. He posts on my wall. I deleted. He tags me. I untagged myself. I blocked his number. He's just crazy. I broke up with him because he's obsessed. Now today, for some reason, he decided to hang out with Jen and he told everyone. So obviously I found out his friends like me more than him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, and then he goes, he was mad about the things I told you about how I've gotten calls from girls. He's been with, uh, he's been with that, that he is abusive. He's a fucking little punk. This is the dad. This is the dad saying he's a fucking little punk. And because his mom's a wackadoo. The mom that he goes on to kill, by the way. Last time, I smacked him around for hitting her and Brit. She threatened to call the cops on me. So this is the dad. This is fucking crazy. The dead dad who killed the mom. I repeat, he says the following. The son, he was mad about the things I told you about. How I've gotten calls from girls he's been with. That he is abusive. He's a fucking little punk about his son. And because his mom's a wackadoo, the mom he kills. Last time I smacked him around for hitting her. And Britt, she threatened to call the cops on me. So the, the woman he kills threatened to call the cops on her. This is a healthy fucking family here. What Jay. a family. And now what are the odds he would end up with? Uh, like, like, you know? Uh, so, I mean, I guess it's in the genes. Domestic abuse. <laughs> Dad, it's weird. You talk to blank. Uh, no, you think it's weird because you fucked up and she's not too smart and strong of a young lady to deal with your bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, uh, she go, he goes on to say, have a good night. If you need anything, buzz me. One of his friends wrote, I'd say call your dad. But since you ignore him and haven't asked how he is or wished him a happy birthday or Father's Day or Merry Christmas, that ship sailed. Britt said he was pissed. Is the moron leaving you alone today? Like, this is fucking weird. Like the dad is talking to the abused girlfriend about how bad oh, his son is. Creepy as fuck, man. Yeah, and so yeah, shockingly, he's dead. He killed the wife, and it is one big ratchet fucking headache. So anyway, let me refresh the donos here. Um, That's so crazy. KB says, "Spit those buys." Shout out to my side boo, Trump twenty twenty. Absolutely. Shout out to KB Saibu. Anonymous says Saturday night entertainment. You goddamn right about that. Melinda yeah. says for funeral expenses. If you're ever in a high speed chase, <laughs> God bless you, Melinda. God bless you. Joanne says for the freestyle. Absolutely. Anonymous says, let's have a freestyle war Eagle. Did Auburn win today? I guess they won today. Uh, Alexandra just says, we love you. Okay. We got that before. Okay. So we have unlocked the freestyle, Brett. And I think okay. we should do it now. Cause I want to do a shorter show tonight. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so, we're at uh, 50, 50 yeah. minutes for your 90. It's like, hey, let me mute my thing. Go ahead. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay. Yeah. We're, okay. So here we go. We're going to do the, the freestyle here. Ready, guys? Let's do it. Basic bitch from Providence, Olivia Kent. She be talking shit online like she the president. Ride shames a woman cause she don't wear a mask. Ho, I'll plug your five hole like you was Tuka Rask. All this COVID shit don't have to be political, but this chick did the same, so her ass is hypocritical. Talking shit on Facebook and even on a Reddit. Probably shut the fuck up with your 350 credit. Instead of being a cunt, maybe take a breather and leave the kids at home, because they don't like you either. Shaming other people, and then she goes to riot. Ease up on the baby gravy in your vegan diet. 
free loading skag using all the food stamps. I can't menstruate, but this bitch gives me cramps. And watch out for your husband, cause that motherfucker's shady. He be choking bitches like his name is Wayne Brady. Got the ankle bracelet, so his movement is restricted. Gonna be a problem next time he get evicted. Says he called the police and even hit his lawyer. Out here looking like the coke out ghetto Tom Sawyer. Wilmington, woman be the name Cam Burns. Gonna be in prison, bitch, and maybe taking turns. He be talking mad shit with his little minion. Girl look like a Saudi woman with a bad opinion. Post the side of the story on Instagram. I knew this was just stupid, but bitch, goddamn. Says the Tyler's girl was grabbing on his nuts. And her coochie smelling like expired cold cuts. His bullshit story was good for some chuckles. Don't you hate it when a bitch runs into your knuckles? Commemorating Pa Dukes on the day that he died. It was really touching if you're into homicide. Go for me started for these dudes in Revere. But I'd be smelling ratchets up in the atmosphere. Raising 20 G's when they say that it's a crash. Running from the police so your story bald dash. Trying to make a getaway like a kid napper. Mamas don't let your boys to grow up to be a rapper. Can't be running into shit like Red Rover. Probably would have lived if your ass pulled over. Coming at me because I'm the one they despises. You play ratchet games, you win ratchet prizes. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, you worked fucking balderdash into a rap. Bald, Bravo, yeah, never, you, you never thought you did balderdash in a rap, right? never. <laughs> never, first time. Balderdash. That word. was fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do we turn this All in bitches old lunch meat. Jesus Christ. Okay, why don't we do a little Ask Turtle Boy to end it? Sorry, we wanted to do a shorter show. <sighs> um, yeah, yeah. Like that? Oh, expired cold cuts? You like That's that? pretty fucking good. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> I didn't fuck up once there. That and the Tuka Rask line I like too. Those yeah. were both. Oh, the five hole? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> People are loving the cold cuts line. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. I hope that oh. was worth it, guys. I love the freestyle. I live for the freestyle. I wish I could just freestyle for a living. I feel like I have a future in it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Do, do a Christmas album. A <laughs> Turn up with Christmas album. <laughs> yeah. That might sell if people have still bought CDs. Uh, no, Courtney, I've not read. Um, so if you guys want to ask Brett and I any questions, the floor is yours. What do you want? So ask away any questions you want to ask me. Now, time. Uh, I won't have a new book for Christmas. I just didn't have time, unfortunately. I did not have time. Uh, nor did I have time, Courtney, to read. To, uh, I haven't had time because I spend all day getting ready, you know? So I haven't had time yet to do that. Right. Play Ratchet Games and win Ratchet Prizes. I'm, like, I'm glad you like that one, Michelle. Um. Other questions. Oh, you taking your kid trick or treating? Trick or treating, you goddamn fucking right, I am. No way, Absolutely. we're not trick or treating. Fuck that lady and hang on. Fuck that lady. And Sorry, we didn't get the chance to get the more stories today. But we, I feel like we got to the three good ones. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cam Newton's return. Is Cam Newton actually going to play Tuesday? We moved the goddamn game to Tuesday. He should play. Now we don't have goddamn. Um, uh, the other guy. Um. I'm having a blank. Our all-star cornerback, uh, Stephon Gilmore. He's gone too. He's got. They just got to start playing through COVID. Is that that ridiculous? <laughs> I don't know. I, you would think with these guys, it would like my yeah. Brendan Schwab thing to where he's an athlete too, and he said a week was it took. He was fucked up for about a week. Jared Stidham's actually playing. What the fuck? Okay, I hope wow. not. He fucking sucks. Anyway, sorry, Suzanne. I know that's, but you know it's true. It's, you know, it's true. Um, I mean, I just feel like Brett, like you're more likely to, if you were an NFL player, right? Yeah. And I gave you two propositions. What would you rather happen to you? Would you rather get COVID or, uh, you know, uh, pull your ACL? COVID all day. Yeah, of course. Now, what do you think is more likely to happen on the field? The second one, pop yeah, the, the ACL, tablet. and it's going to yeah. hurt a lot. And not a single NFL player is like, I don't want to play. I could tear my ACL. Nobody ever fucking says that. They just fucking play because it's football, right? Yeah, like, yeah. You're literally out there to like live 20 years less than everybody else, get CTE, and have a short bus baby. That's all fucking NFL players do. Uh, so, but they do it because whatever. Because you, you get paid a lot of fucking money. Yeah, That's why and they, they do choose it. to do it. They want to do it. So, nothing stopping them. So, the, the idea that we're protecting Cam fucking Newton from COVID, but we're not protecting <laughs> Cam Newton. From Khalil Mack. 
Like that's fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> oh no. What do you think? Did you see Khalil Mack right your boy on Thursday? Did you see yeah. what he did to that yeah. guy, fuck, that 345 yeah. man suplexed his ass? Like he's he's a fucking monster. When he's on, times, he's on. How many times did he sack Brady? Like I don't know, but did you see the picture of him over Brady and Brady crying? And the other picture is from the Revenant with the grizzly bear over DiCaprio. <laughs> Oh, it's so fucking good. That's basically what it was. Exactly. It was violent. Like, that shit was violent. Like, he fucking just threw his ass down. Like, oh, he he, he tackled Brady, sacked him with one hand, and then took a 340-pound man and just threw him with the other. I'm like, holy shit. That was wild. That was wild. Other questions you guys have? Any other questions you guys have? Any M... CG updates. Someone asked Courtney. Yeah, I don't have that much. I mean, same old shit. I wish I had more time in the week, but it is what it is. I can only get to so many stories. Do you have dick pics of me? Mike Gaffney. I don't have the pictures on me. I've seen them. It's not impressive. Okay. Because keep in mind, Mike Gaffney has mistresses and uh, he's a little freaky. He's a little freaky. Let's just say that he's into some weird shit, Brett. Would you? Is that the least surprising thing you've ever heard? That yeah, yeah that, he's that's, into some weird sexual shit. That's right up there with us. Uh, hey, winter gets cold. It's like yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, I got other, a question. What the shoot. fuck are you doing here with that little fucking mongoloid tomorrow? Oh, Josh Abrams. So let's talk yeah. about that. So that's not Ugh. tomorrow. It's, it's Monday. Oh, Monday. So, ah, six so Josh Abrams is going to jail. Um, now, uh, for unarmed robbery, or whatever he took, I think he took a plea deal. They gave yeah. him like two weeks to get his shit together, his affairs in order, which for him means go on as many YouTube panels as possible, <laughs> basically. And now I don't like Josh Abrams, and I've I despise Josh Abrams as a matter of fact. And no. uh, he's you know uh, how many times have I have we written about him? Now here's the thing, I've moved on. Like you can't recycle the same ratchets. That's my big thing. You can't. You got to find new ratchets. People get tired of the same shit. Like people used to tell me all the time back when Kate was working for me, uh, you know, like, can we move on? Can we move on? And I always tell them, like, can we, can we find something new? Like to talk about this is getting dull Any food stamp posts. I remember all the fucking yeah. comments. And stuff. Like he wouldn't even come on the show. Like he wasn't that interesting. He was deplorable. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like, there's just so much Josh Abrams I can fucking do. Now, fast forward a year later, she's still f- talking about the guy 24-7. Now, here's the thing with Josh. I find him despicable and deplorable and all this stuff. Yeah. But it, it, at least he fucking, to an extent, yeah. wears it on his sleeve, no? No, he's a sneaky, slimy little fuck. This he's whole en- enemy of my enemy bullshit. No, he's I'm going more to of a, shoot the messenger, too, because that motherfucker is listening to both teams. Fuck yes. these people. Well, I, I get your them. point. I get you guys made it clear on that fucking EBT podcast that you were on the other fucking day. I sat through that monstrosity with all the <laughs> you and Josh and these other fucking Dude, the waiting amazing, room man. of fucking death as there a panel. Jesus fucking Christ. The fucking champions in that fucking group. This is and, Kate's world, though. That's like her fucking world. Though. I get it. And, and I like it just because of that. It's out of a, such an extreme hatred for her and you both share it. I understand it. I just don't like that motherfucker. So the only the thing I'm most interested in finding out, Brett, and this is just from my perspective, right, is I want to know how much they talked. I want to know how much like a lot, a lot, a lot. So you and can I, be real buddy, buddy with him. So if I mean, he's a pathological liar, though, so he might make some shit up. But I feel yeah, like but. No, I think he hates her so fucking much, man, that he's going to give you everything. Might, That's what I think. That's what I'm hoping. And I think he realizes at this point that, like, the Turtle Boy thing, like, that was her obsession with him, right? Like, he's, to me, he's just another ratchet. That's all he is. He's yeah, just yeah, but ratchet. no, you're giving him too much credit. He's doing this, so from jail, one of his little fucking Rudy Poo fucking cock hangers can play the jail phone call where he's going and ha ah, Kate, I even got you from inside and I used your old term. Rah, rah, rah. That's no, what's going on in his head. I'm fucking telling you, man, he's a fucking slimy motherfucker. He may very he's well Stacy with bigger tits. I'm fucking telling you. So the bottom line is Brett, I've had some shady fucking people on the show though. You know what I mean? Like think of some of the guests I've had. I've had, if my policy is let anybody fucking on, then I got to let anyone on. You know what oh, I mean? No, so, absolutely. Yeah. I just, I don't like when you slum it on these 
off-brand fucking panels. And I, again, I get the reason. They're talking about you, Matt. At least you have the balls to show up. Yeah. Unlike the other people that get invited and then start texting. That was great when Josh started reading the text as they came in, though, on yes, that panel. Was. That was fucking pretty fucking funny. <laughs> yes. yes. I want was. you to ask him if he knows anything about the fucking truck. That's my one. You have to. And I'll be in the comments. I'll remind you, motherfucking ass. You got to ask him if he knows anything about that mysterious truck. Yeah. And right. the other one was if he. Yeah. If, well, look at fuck Chris James. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's so that's the deal. That's going to be on Monday, guys, at nine o'clock. So um, special show. That's going to be instead of Tuesday. We're going to go Monday. So. Uh, oh, also golf. Reminder about the golf tournament. OK, uh, if you signed up for golf, it's postponed. If you if you sign up for the tournament, please. My worst nightmare is a bunch of people fucking show up and they're like, where's the tournament? OK, the tournament is postponed because of commie cold. They won't let us do it till May 24th. Okay, so if you want a refund, we can give you a refund or you stay on till May 24th. Okay, and we are golfing anyway. I'll be golfing Kettlebrook at 10 o'clock on Monday, regardless. Okay, and uh, I'll be doing my thing there. So if you want to come down, hang out, do our thing, we'll be there. I heard there might be some sangria. It's going to be a fun day. Columbus Ooh. Day, not Indigenous People's Day. So we'll be saying Columbus Day just to offend people. And yeah, so that's the deal for golfing. Anyway, all right, I gotta get going, Brett. So I already cut this short tonight, guys. It's all great, right. great having you guys on. Thank you guys for donating. Thank you guys for joining the program. Uh, and oh, happy birthday, Nick! Happy fucking birthday, man! And uh, we happy will. Birthday, fool! Did I forget anything? All right, we're good. No, nope. see you Monday, motherfucker. All right, peace to your bum crease, turtle riders. One love. Later, bitches. <laughs>